gonna go okay. bring them. Yeah, get them all set up and we'll wait for John. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> hey, Miss Faye. Kaha Lee, I've never seen you be shy. Look at this, Dr. Steve. Really? We got a shy little girl oh this time. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh she's, she's waking up from a nap. Yeah. How are you, oh, baby girl? So <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I know she played with Nana at the park today, so. She's tired. tired. A little extra tired. Yeah. Wake it up. Stop. Okay, we can see Thank you, Faye. Come on, come on over here. We set up everything this time because we're doing some little um, little sealants on those teeth so that you don't get food in them, okay? Can you say hi, Dr. Steve? You see hi. him? Hi there. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> How are you? I think she needs a tickle monster. <laughs> a tickle. Her. There we go. She was Wake up, tickle. For this because she was telling me, she, oh, I get my, I was getting stuck in there. So yeah. this will make it so that you don't get that food up there anymore. Okay. I'll do you know, maybe oh, what will help awesome. wake her up is just give her a toothbrush. And <laughs> right. see people just try brushing her teeth, you know. Oh, yeah. You want to brush first? Yeah. She did brush with me, Anna. Okay, I'm going to have you sit here, Papa Lee, alone. There. There we go. So before we get started, though, remember. Garage door. Yeah, let me get a second. And she got a new necklace that matches them. <laughs> so, you know, last time I saw you, do you remember why I came and saw you? Do you remember you were having some tooth pain up here before you were going to Hawaii? Oh, gosh. Sure. Those boys need to stop turning that on and off. <laughs> um, so uh, after I put the silver stuff on, did you have any more pain? In Hawaii or when you came home, has it bothered you again or not? <laughs> no, she hasn't complained at all. Yeah, so it's easy. It did the job. Okay. Very grateful that was before we left. <laughs> but also, you know, I was just wondering because food tracks there if yeah. we have another little sensitivity yeah. before. She hasn't complained about she mean just complains that the food is in there. And yeah, like she'll come and mom, can I get more floss? And I was like, okay. That makes me happy. You're flossy. She's a really good flosser. So you're flossing. <laughs> How about food? Are we sneaking? <laughs> <You've got to laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Are you sneaking a little bit sometimes or not at all? You do something. Like, <laughs> what, what nice. This is great. Is it candy? It'll be fine when we cleaned your room just now. We found a little bit of checks. She said her and her brother had gone out for a stack. I don't think that was a late night one, though, but we said we don't usually do that. No, that no, wasn't okay. a late night. You know what? Do you call her Leah? Is <laughs> What you want to do, and dad said, and he was going out to work tonight, and uh -huh. he was tired for night. So he, so he tried to get sleep, so he sent us up to the iPad. Oh, so you got a snack with your iPad. You know what? The check sticks is a great choice for a snack. <laughs> it's way better than the candies yeah. and the sticky fruit stuff, because that, <laughs> that doesn't cause the cavities as much as those other sugar things, okay? Yeah. Yeah? We got a new apple slicer too that does double the apple slices, and they really have liked that one. That's a great <laughs> snack. And little cheese pieces of cheese to go with it, or some nuts. Those are all really good things, okay? So, we're going to do a few different things today. And, Teresa, I might give you my sure. phone because yeah. Dr. Duffin is recording on his end. Sure. And then we have, you know what, we're so lucky we get another doctor with us today, another dentist, it's Dr. Duffin's friend. And he's gonna get on in a little bit, but um, we're just gonna take a few photos with my phone sure. and Tracy, you'll be the photo sure. person. Yeah, just let me know. So any let me know how close you want, please. I just ask Dr. Steve what or you can see. In Dr. Everything. Duffin, just let me know when you want I think to go in. You're perfect. And if Teresa can use her camera that she's holding to show the teeth when okay. we begin treating, then we get both perspectives. Okay. And I <laughs> like that. And I wanted to mention one thing to Teresa. Yeah. Before we stop, start, I, I know that 
this approach that we've um, taken with controlling tooth decay in your daughter is a little unusual and, and not every dentist does this. Mm -hmm. I, I want to reemphasize to you that I believe this is absolutely the best way to treat tooth decay in children and that I have personally treated my own grandchildren in this exact way. Oh, with great. Silver fluoride and glass on or cement. And I appreciate you, you all embracing this and, and being al allowing us to record it because we're going to be teaching other people how to do the same time, type of work. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you guys. Oh, someone's got to be cool. <laughs> yeah. And nice. you know what? I'm getting all my stuff on. I saw something on your mom's Facebook that you maybe went to Washington, D.C. Did you get to go there? <laughs> yeah, we visited my sister in Washington, D.C. Wow. In a big weekend, huh? <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Did you see the president? We saw, what did we see? We saw his house. We went to the White House, yeah. but we didn't see him. Didn't get a chance to say hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> saw the men standing on top, which perspective wise, I was like, this is making this look very small. <laughs> that seems very small when the person on top right? was like, that eye on it. Yeah. Just let me know when you want me to make sure. sure. Of what. Okay, so we've got our mirror out that we really like. So you'll see it. Okay. Okay, sweet. Can you tip your chin up? Let's get this little piece of hair out. <laughs> and we just want to kind of, and I don't know, Teresa, okay. if we want lights on. Okay. Yeah, we can um, try the phone. Maybe my oh, light. Okay, yeah. Let me try this mirror because we're getting a little, I know, speaker. You know what? <laughs> We've got our section today, so we can go like this. Thank you. So, Sarah, how many areas of cavitation do we see? Uh, Sarah, check it up in front of me. Yeah. Yep. What was that? How, how many areas of cavitation do you see? Let's see here. Let's tip your chin up to the ceiling and open. I'm just going to dry here. Yeah. So definitely up here on um, I and J. That's our that's our biggest one, and that's where she touches teeth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. those are pretty okay. big. So we're I think you're gonna want me to do SDF again first, Doctor Steve. Is that correct? Well, um, the glass ionomer cement has a two step process. One is the um, polyacrylic acid, which will leave for about 10 seconds and then rinse away. Right. And then you'll mix and put the GIC. So putting SDF in the middle of a GIC application is a bit of a challenge. What right. I'd encourage you to do is simply take a, a perio probe and just feel the surface. If it feels hard, then um, we can be assured that it's arrested. Okay. And it looks like I and J, which I do have my probe here. It looks like I and J could use a little silver. That's just cotton up there, sweet <laughs> girl. I know it feels funny. A 
access how to use it that's free online. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to put a little silver on Jay. Okay. So. And could I put silver on it? Let it sit for a little bit, then we'll do the wash. Or is that going to want to soak up into the glass ionomer? Let me take this call from John Frischella. Yeah. You take me a few seconds. Hi, John. This is a rather larger one. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we're going. So you'll so join us. I need it. Okay. Yeah. Soon. I they, they have started, yes. And you'll 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 just pop into the video. She, they have brushed her teeth. That's it. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> right. I'll tell them to hold on. So I know that Sarah has a question. We'll see you shortly. Thanks. Okay, Sarah. So John is joining us. Okay. And he he doesn't want you to proceed beyond just the toothbrushing step. Okay. There we go. I do want to show him Jay in a close up of it because okay. there is an area of Jay that's closer. To, that hurt, sweetie. Did it hurt? Yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> that's closer to the pulp. Okay. Well, we definitely want to ask his opinion about. Uh, the application of additional SDF in that case. Okay, let's let's look. There we go. So he he's he's dialing in right now. Okay, no rush. I got a few more to brush. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, ah. I don't think we'll even try to do a GIC there again okay. because they'll just fall out like yeah. last time. These ones on top are different. Yeah, but yeah, the brushing so important. Mm -hmm. So. Kahalia, I have super exciting news. Mm -hmm. You know you have these two new baby or these two permanent teeth, right? Because you uh -huh. lost baby teeth. Uh -huh. But I don't think your mom and you know this. You've got your six-year molar coming in back here. Back here. <laughs> oh my number 30's coming in. <laughs> wow. So all you have to do is double click the link in the email. You know what I'll do? I'll put a little silver on that. Okay, piece. so. I'm cl I did, yeah. All right. Do you see me now? Hold on. Uh, yep, we can see you. All right, that's important. Here we go. Hi, John. <laughs> Hi. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sweaty. I'm just back from uh, from a workout. So, um, yeah, how's it going? Hello, Dr. Pacella. I'm Sarah. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hello. How you doing? Good. Good. Do you so, live you done so far, Sarah? <laughs> do you live in a yurt? I do, and you're looking at it. You want to see it behind me? <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> you can see yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yes. Yeah, I, so, live, I live in a yurt. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Thank you want to see you want to see this other doctor? This is Dr. Fercella. This is our little patient Kahalia here. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> And Mama Teresa over here. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Teresa. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. <laughs> so what we're noticing is up here, I'm going to try to get it so you can see IJ. That's our, our greatest um, interproximal lesion that's broken through. Uh -huh. And if you can see in my mirror, I'm not sure if you're able to see, but Jay has quite a bit. We've arrested it interproximal on I distal, but Jay mesial there closer to the middle of the tooth. Uh -huh. It almost appears like it would benefit from more SDF. So I can't see it, but let me ask you this. Is this a, a, an M-O-D-O? Is this a Mo and a Doe? Yep. So, yes. um, yeah, I mean, um, how often is, is this patient seen regularly or, you know, what's the, what's the history here? We've been doing SDF every three months on her. Uh-huh. 
And three months ago, you have a face in that way, the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, three months ago, uh, when they called me, she was having discomfort on IJ and trapping quite a bit of food. So oh. I went and um, placed SDF and they were leaving for Hawaii. No pain since then. She did go to the dentist and had a cleaning and um, mentioned that food traps. Mom said they are flossing more than once a day, once a day? Uh, at least once a day. If she feels food, she'll go get floss herself too. But I know it's kind of getting up yeah. in there. <laughs> yeah. So she flosses it routinely, but a little bit, like even tonight, there was a tiny bit in there. Right. So uh, what I found um, is that when they complain of pain in an MODO on I and J, especially, and S and T, and those, those, uh, those, those primary molars, um, 90% of the time, the discomfort that they're feeling is from packing food. It doesn't mm. have anything to do with how deep uh, the caries lesion is, um, but has everything to do with food packing and then repacking and repacking. So the most important thing to me uh, to decrease her continued uh, sensitivity there is to not just apply more SDF because that's not gonna take care of her sensitivity because she's gonna keep packing food, but to indeed fill the food trap now. Got it, okay, that makes sense. So my only question to you would be on the, the more mesial part of that occlusal, it's not black from SDF. So if I put the GIC there, that continually releases fluoride and is gonna help still? Um, yeah, let's let's back up a little bit. Okay, there's no SDF on the occlusal part uh, uh, on the occlusal part of the of the cavity. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because it's broken through. It's a. Uh, let me see here, sweetie. Um, yeah, on J, it's a M O. The M's pretty arrested onto half of the occlusal, and right before I get to the middle part of the occlusal, it's. It's not, it's softer. How, how many times have you applied SDF? Five, six. Yeah. We've okay, done it Sarah. For okay. Um, this is important. Sarah, mom, patient, if she can understand this. SDF is the greatest detector of caries that we have ever had in dentistry. If you apply SDF, to a tooth or a part of a tooth or a lesion on a tooth, and it does not turn black, it is not carious. Okay. okay. So we don't detect caries, Sarah. Hygienists and dentists don't detect caries. We're terrible at it. SDF detects it. Why it's, that is why it's absolutely ridiculous that certain state dental boards require that a dentist diagnose caries before a, a, a hygienist or an assistant can apply SDF. The dentist is no good at, at detecting caries. SDF detects caries better than all of us. So if it isn't dark, if it isn't black, and you've applied it five times, huh, it's, not a care, it's not a carious surface. Yeah. Right, yeah. Steve? I agree completely. Yeah. I think it's my ready thinking, for GIC. My thinking was only because in the last three months, food sat there. Do we have new caries that I haven't tried to arrest with? Absolutely That's not. If we had new caries there, following your line of thinking, the SDF that you have already applied is in the dead bacteria in the arrested caries adjacent to that area which is what we call zombies in teeth. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. every kid in the world wants zombies in their teeth. <laughs> and we want zombies in their teeth. And moms want zombies in their teeth because those zombies that you put in her teeth would have attacked the caries that you're talking about right now that isn't there. So no, that isn't the way that the disease operates. We used okay. to think that was the way the disease operates, but we have to unlearn all of that and throw it away. If that's in a textbook somewhere in your head or in a book on the shelf, absolutely cross it out of your head and throw the book away. Okay. Doesn't okay. apply anymore. 
the science is new science and we have evidence to prove it. Perfect. Okay, that's all I needed to know. <laughs> Yep. So, cool. so I, I would apply, I would apply a uh, glass onomer at this juncture. You can apply more SDF. Uh, I would, because I'm a belts and suspenders guy, although you've done it five times, so you don't need to. But what I would do is make sure I had the tooth clean. Steve said, you already cleaned the tooth. He told me that on the phone. So you got the tooth clean. Well, then I would just go ahead and some, you know, dry, scrub some more SDF on there, leave it moist. Okay. And then the next thing that is the most important thing for you to do is to make sure you take the capsule of GIC. What are you, what, what kind of GIC are you using? I'm using the, um, the Equa Forte. Equia Forte. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing and the thing where most people forget or don't do or think isn't important and which causes the most failures is you've got to take that capsule and tap it on the table like this. Go real hard, bang, bang, bang on the side. Imagine this little shark is your capsule. I don't have one with me. Imagine that's a capsule. Hold it be between your fingers and bang it on the table like this. Watch, bang, 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 bang. Do you know why? No. You need to know why. Okay, Sarah. Here's the capsule. It's a shark in this case. It's split in two. In one side, there is powder. In the middle, there's a membrane. And on the other side, there's a liquid called polyacrylic acid or conditioner. The same conditioner that you're going to use on her tooth before you put this in there is in that capsule. But that capsule has been sitting on its side just like this for who knows how long in the dental supply house, who knows how long in your cabinet. So what happens to powder in a talcum powder jar that you keep uh, in your bathroom on the shelf? It settles, right? Mm -hmm. So the powder inside here in the one half of the capsule is settled and it's not going to mix with the liquid until you bang it and fluff it up. If you don't fluff it up, it won't work. Okay. So you can't forget it. That's one of those things that, oh gosh, I forgot to bang it first, start all over, take it out, start all over. It's not going to work. Okay. It never does. We <laughs> tested it in Idaho last week and I said, do it the way you normally do it. They did it. I could pick them all out with, a, with an explorer. It was silly. Uh, we we wow. had to start all over again with the patients. So bang it first before you do anything. Okay, I'm going to move this because I want it closer to me here. Let's see. All right. Then the next thing, do you have your polyacrylic acid out? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. All right. So if you've applied your SDF again, uh, don't rinse off the SDF. Just apply the SDF. Don't rinse. Okay. So let's wait till she does that because sure. she has not done it yet. You bet. Yep. Or you don't have to do the SDF if you don't want to this time. It's just I probably up here. She it's wants to. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't matter. If you choose not to or you don't have time, whatever. Good patient, by the way. She's excellent. She is. Paul, your your finger is in front of the lens. Oh, oh, right. oh sorry. It's even worse I'm going to spin the camera around just a moment. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Good he's to not see Marcus. You. He looked like Marcus, but he's not Marcus. No, it's not Marcus. Uh, Marcus would do a better job than this, I'm sure. Is this Sarah down below? Picture of Sarah? Yeah. Lovely. Yes. Hi, Sierra. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna use my are, you, are you seeing video right now? No, I'm not seeing video. I'm seeing a picture, just a uh, portrait of, on, of Sarah. Sarah's face. Watch video here. Okay, now we're in business. Fine, I fixed it. Thank you. Good job, 
This is going on in Sarah's house, John. Sure, of course. Not a dental office. It shouldn't go on in a dental office. We don't need a dental office. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> I say so. Okay. <laughs> I did it once on a on a couch in another dentist's son's uh, uh, condo once. Well, I think we did it, it in, in a kitchen once. Wait a minute. I did it on myself in my bathroom. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, so I shot my bar, my loud compressor on, but I did the silver in the two sites that I'm going to do the GICs on, A, B, and I, J. Okay. Okay. All righty. So um, now um, the next thing you want to do is to um, dab it so that it's only moist. Okay. So use a cotton roll or whatever. And let me confirm here, there's no varnish involved here. No. No varnish. Good. Correct. OK, now, is it OK if I keep my suction on? Because she's got a lot of saliva. Yes. It's not too loud? <laughs> no, it's fine. OK, so I dabbed it. Good. Dab it. Now apply some polyacrylic acid and you'll see that it'll react with the SDF. You'll kind of get this, I don't know what I'd call it, a little foamy white stuff going on with the SDF. But just put, you know, douse it with polyacrylic acid now. Okay. Oh, you're okay. Yep. This just is painting. Okay, it's girl. just painting. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Just painting. some more stuff. We just want to keep our mouth open. This is like a soap bubble. Just stay open, sweet girl, okay? I don't want you to taste too much. Yeah, keep your mouth open and you don't taste it. Okay, so put a bunch of, of polyacrylic acid in there. Yeah. Can you, can you see it reacting? Um, what's it do? Can, can you see like a kind of a white residue and a little foamy stuff like? Uh, yes, we'll see. Yeah, okay, now dab, dab your um, Deborah micro brush on her patient towel so that it's dry and soak that all up but leave it moist. Okay, open real big, sweetie. Should I be doing both sides at once? Probably not. No, one at a time. So we're removing salivary pellicle and protein from the tooth surface. Is that correct? With this step. Well, we are. We're removing salivary pellicle. We're removing all kinds of stuff. And we're removing the two medicines that we put on. We put on some SDF and then we put on some polyacrylic acid. We have to call that a medicine, Steve, because it's yeah. a component of the medicine Correct. called TIC. So now we're going to soak that all up into yep. our micro brush so that the surface is moist. It's not too wet and it's not too dry. It may have a blue tint. It probably will, but it's not too wet. It's not too dry. Okay. Have we already tapped our capsule? No. Bite down slowly, sweetie. Just bite down a little bit and stay just like that. I don't want you to hold, okay? Don't so tap the through. capsule real nice and hard on the tabletop. Bang, bang, bang. That's it. A couple more times. Okay. Now compress the little pink thing at the bottom in once. No, press it down on the on the tabletop. Once. Put it in. No, no. Put it in the gun. Put it in your gun. Click once. Put it in your gun. Click once. Click one time. Just go click. Good. Take it out. Put it in the triturator for 10 seconds. No more than 10, no less. Not going. 
it's plugged in. The, the button to turn it on is in the back, Sarah. Yeah. Good. Okay. okay. Now squeeze it in. I need my my wedge though, don't I? Um, not really. I thought we were going to glue the teeth together. Are we? It's up to you. She has a she has a matrix strip and a wedge if she wants to use it, John. Well, okay. should have done that first. Um, we're already. The time is the clock is ticking on that. Let's forte. let's put them together. Yeah, I would do it. It's up to you if you wanna if you wanna make a uh, if you wanna make a contact point, you can. But yeah, your material is gonna set up real fast. Yep. So it's really unfortunate I can't see down into the mouth, but. So I don't know where, where you're at right now, whether it's still liquid. Is it squeezing well? It was. Okay, good. Now take your finger and dip it in some water, a cup of water. I don't have water. Okay, okay. then wet your finger. Make sure your finger's real wet. Now smush, push down and smear. Do not lift up. Push down and smear. Okay? All right, okay. you're, you're all, quit manipulating. You're all good. Okay. Now remove any excess that you have with a dull explorer or with a haul and back and just kind of get it out of the way. Yes. Okay. Until things start looking like they're going to set up. Now what you're looking for is the loss of gloss and kind of a matte finish. That'll tell you that you've started the cross-linking phase. Do you see that yet? We're getting there. All right. Okay, don't over manipulate, Sarah. Once that cross-linking starts, once it gets like of a frost on it, like like hazy, like uh, matte finish. Don't yeah. touch it. Don't touch okay. it. Even if you have excess, don't touch it. It's a kiss of death. You got to work okay. fast with this stuff. Okay. Okay. Now leave it for leave everything for about oh I don't know four more minutes, three more minutes, and then you can remove your wedge and remove your um, your matrix. That's perfectly okay. It's fine. It, that doesn't hurt anything. Not in the primary teeth, doesn't matter. It doesn't make a bit of difference. No, no. I just told mom she has a, what is it called, a fused tooth? <laughs> yeah, she got a fused tooth. tooth. That's right. <laughs> right, and we have two dentists saying it's okay. <laughs> Well, more than two, Steve. A lot of us say it's okay. A lot of us are saying that. It's okay. Yeah. When the, those teeth sort of fall out, will they just come with whichever one comes out first? Or Absolutely. Don't worry about it. It'll break. Okay. Yes. It'll break. It'll do its own thing. Mother oh, yeah. Nature will take over. And if it does, yeah. Yes. But, Mom, you got to know you're not going to be able to floss there. Okay. And that's okay. <laughs> but food won't get in there. I was gonna say that sounds even better. <laughs> and and this this is medicine that we're putting in there. So yeah. so mom, so, the <laughs> mom and Sarah, you need to understand the glass ionomer medicine is is very, very kind to the gum tissue. Okay. It um yeah, the gum tissue responds to it in a very positive way. If we tried to do that with composite uh, resin material. Oh my gosh, we'd have sore gums. It would be awful. Um, right. It's the only material that gum tissue just loves it. And uh, it won't do any harm at all. It'll keep the food out of there and it will act as a reserve of fluoride release 
not only for those two teeth, but for all of her teeth in her mouth. This is great. So I have a question. I got it in the healthy appraisal of that molar. Yep. Okay, now when she bites down with her other tooth, is this where you were telling me, Dr. Steve, I'll just scrape it away once it's set? So we'll, we'll ask for John's opinion here, but it's, it's definitely set. When we check the bite, we don't want to break it. So I want to see if it's high. And I would scrape a little bit away until it's even. What, what's your opinion, John? Well, what I would say is that we kind of skipped the step, Sarah, because really, you know, um, Sarah, this is great that we're doing this, but you really need to sit through my course on GIC. Yeah. And you would have, this would have been automatic for you. When you put it in there and you got the wedge and everything, you needed to have her bite down. And when she bit down, that would have brought it to occlusion. You would have seen the excess. You would have moved it away and we wouldn't have anything high. But now if we have something high, you know what? I just leave it. Kids don't mind high occlusion. Don't do that on an adult, right. but with a kid, it doesn't matter. The occlusion will equilibrate. When we do hall crowns, we don't take anything down. We just snap a stainless steel crown over the tooth and we open their bite by three millimeters. And, right. it, and three right. months later, it equilibrates. Same thing's going to happen here. Okay. Okay. I want to put it down here now, too. This is amazing. It's so easy. I found another spot I want to find now. <laughs> it's so simple. It's so simple, you know. But before you do the other tooth, let's um, let's review all the steps, okay? Yeah. Can I clean this one yet or not yet? Yeah, clean it off. Take the take the matrix out. Take your wedge out. Take a look at it. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I don't know how much you can see, but we mm -hmm. will take um, some photos when we're done. Be careful manipulating it. Okay. You don't want to manipulate it. You've got 10 minutes of cross-linking to go through right here. That's the most important step. You're cr that, the glass ionomer and the tooth are becoming one. So it will be one. Say, ohm. We are becoming one. <laughs> one. We're going to become the same unit. As they're becoming one, you don't want to disturb those that material in there. This is the hygienist and me want to scrape. I'm going to leave it alone. I know. I know. I know you got to leave it alone. The dentists all manipulate yes. it and they all screwed up. I told quit manipulating. They wouldn't. Quit manipulating. I turned my back. One of the assistants said, she's manipulating. And I caught her manipulating and it failed. So, you know, you can't manipulate this stuff. Once it's in, it's in. Okay, so can we start the upper right? You can, but well, let's go through the steps, okay? Can we, can we talk about this just a little bit? Okay. Speed is everything. The material sets up in a, in a um, exothermic reaction, which means it gives off heat and it is affected by heat. So if it's warm in your room or if it's humid in your room, it's going to set up too fast. You're not going to have enough time. You literally have to refrigerate this. I'm having all the dentists that I train have a little cooler with ice in it, and I'm having them put their capsules in there. Never, ever, ever put your capsule in your pocket. Mm -hmm. It wants to be as cool as possible for you to be able to get the four minutes working time out of it. Okay, the next thing is before you even start, I want you to go over to the cabinet there, open up that foil thing and pound that thing on the table so that we're all set. We don't need to worry about that anymore. Okay. That's done in advance. Now we don't have to wait that extra minute that it took you to do that. That's it. Good, Sarah. Perfect. Now put it aside. Don't click it. Don't click it on the on the back yet. Okay. Now make sure you've got a cup of water handy. I want to see a cup of water there so you can dip your finger in it. Okay. There you go. Put it where it's handy so you can use that. Yep. You're going to need to dip your finger in that. Is this the best patient in the world or what? Oh, she's awesome. She's incredible. 
Yeah. She's going to be on TV someday. <laughs> yeah, could be. <laughs> so now, Sarah, if you want to, and it's totally up to you, if you want to, you can put your matrix and your wedge in there if you want to try that. I want to try it on this one. <laughs> okay, you want to close and swallow? Do it. <laughs> you ready? Okay, where's your sunglasses? Ah. Okay, I'm good. Let's see here, sweetie. Okay, ah. This is where I'm going to get this loud thing out again. <laughs> now, I already washed it, but her saliva touched everything. Am I going to rewash this one with the acid? Start all over again. Start like you haven't even done it. Just apply your SDF, dab it. Put your polyacrylic acid on it, dab it, make it so it's moist. Um, click your button down on your GIC capsule, uh, click it once in the gun, put it in the triturator, put it back in the trich, you know, put it in the triturator, put it back in the gun, fill, smear, have her bite down. Okay. Even through the matrix, you have a clear cellular matrix, just have her bite down so she so it's out of occlusion. Clean off any excess and wait four minutes. Okay, here we go. Okay, sweetie. It's way up for Miss Sarah. You're so close. I'll make that first, okay? Quick mop the silver diving here. Sure. Stop stopping for a moment. Oh, my goodness. Now we have our polyacrylic acid. We're going to clean that whole surface with. Yep. Hang on. Now, Sarah, I like to dab my micro brush on the patient's napkin yep. to have it soak up the material, then dab it the tooth again, dab the napkin again, so that I make that makes the whole area that I'm going to treat moist, but not too wet. So not too dry, not too wet. And I have the I have the micro brush in my hand. Why not just use it? I can get it dry on the paper napkin on the patient's napkin. I don't like to use other things like some other people are, well, I got to get a cotton roll. I got to get a cotton pellet. Oh my gosh. We always get more with less. You already got the dang thing in your hand. Just use it. That's right. Okay, I got that. Now I'm going to put in my wedge and my, my Keep, Yeah, making sure that you're keeping those surfaces damp. Okay, they are. Yeah. You bet. If you need a more damp, use more SDF. Remember, SDF is 62% water. The materials we're using are hydrous. They're anhydrous and they're hydrophilic. This is the opposite of doing composite sealants that you have probably done. Yep. Composite resin sealants are hydrophobic and anhydrous. This is hydrous. So we're doing everything the opposite of bondedonics. We're using water. We can't do this. Doesn't work without the water. Okay. So here's the thing. She doesn't like the matrix. It's too much. She's gagging. I'm gonna just make them one tooth again. Make it one tooth. Same thing. Sure. Do the same thing. Exactly. Just do it. Of course, she doesn't like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, you got to click the end, click the pink end down until it goes click, put it in the gun, click once, then put it in the triturator, then put it back in the gun. Good. Okay, put it in there. Then smear like you're like you're caulking a bathtub after you get it in. Start at the bottom and work up. Fill the thing so there's no bubbles. 
Then caulk the bathtub with your finger, but wet it first. Everything has to be done with moisture. And don't lift up, just smear across with your finger. When you're done, have her bite down so she establishes occlusion. Doesn't matter if she gets it wet. At this juncture, let her saliva go it, go onto it. It's all good. And leave it, right? What's that? You done? That's it. it. Then she can open. Yeah, just take off any excess. Keep it moist the whole time. Don't let that thing ever dry out. She can actually, she can actually close her mouth. It doesn't matter. She doesn't need to stay open. Her saliva bathing it right now is the best. Okay, so I have a suggestion at this juncture. She can close. She's all good. Yeah. Oh, no cops yet. <laughs> I don't really think you're saying it's yuck or something, but I'm not going to listen right now. Oh, okay, God. can we, is it okay if with mom and you, Sarah, Mind if the patient listens, it's all good. She sounds like, like a very intelligent little girl. She's going to understand what I'm going to say. I would like to debrief. Are you ready for a debrief? Sure. Okay. So I call this part debriefing. Okay. Are you ready? You Mom, listening? are you listening? Yeah. Cool. Okay. First and foremost, I'm going to give your post-op instructions. I do not want her for 48 hours to eat anything crunchy or hard. That includes Doritos, tortilla chips, Fritos, anything hard. And especially no popcorn because it's going to take 48 hours for this to set. So mom, she should be on a soft diet okay. for 48 hours. Okay, we were going to do spaghetti tonight, so that seems like that. Right might. on, yeah. right on. Spaghetti, meat's fine. She can eat meat. That's soft. Okay, next thing. Mom, this is super important. Okay. If a piece of this falls out, uh -huh. she may have some excess in her mouth. If she says, look, and she shows you this piece of white, that doesn't mean we failed. Okay. If you look in there and the whole thing fell out of her tooth, that does not mean we failed. Sarah okay. is learning how to use this material. Yeah. What is important for you to know is that we did not use any needles or drills. Mm -hmm. And this can be redone again tomorrow, next week, in three weeks. It doesn't matter. Right now, these two essential medicines are working to stop her decay fill the food trap, prevent future decay, and to remineralize all of her teeth so that all of her teeth will be much healthier, even if they fall out. Oh, so great. This is not like the fillings we used to use in the dental office, mom, that if it fell out, whoops, we failed. We got us, you know, uh, that was a failure. No, we have just succeeded no matter what happens from here. Now we have to give Sarah some leeway, mom, because she's learning. If you need to come back to Sarah and we need to add a little more, you can yeah. see how easy it is. And the next time Sarah does it, it'll probably stick in there because she knows all the steps. Yeah. Okay, number three, saliva is glass ionomer's best friend. Okay. Saliva. So Sarah, I had you dipping your finger in water because I wanted to make it easier for you, but I'm going to make it a little bit harder right now. Everyone you do from now on, on a patient that has enough saliva, if they're not zero stomach, they're not an adult, you're not going to use that cup of water. You're going to stick your finger in her mouth 
And you're yes. going to use the saliva to smear when you when you caulk the bathtub. Okay. That's why I told you she can bite down immediately. She can leave her, she doesn't need to leave her mouth open. We never, ever, ever, ever want that to get dry mm -hmm. during, after, long after, ever, ever, ever. The kiss of death for any glass ionomer restoration in your mouth or my mouth, Sarah, is dryness. Saliva is its best friend. It must always, always, always stay wet, which can be a problem with xerostomic adults. I treated four xerostomic adults in, in, uh, in Idaho. Go figure, Steve. We couldn't find any kids, but they found four xerostomic adults. You know, cancer, uh, they were cancer patients. Yeah. They didn't have any saliva. We had to constantly bathe their mouth with water. You know, you had the opposite problem today, Sarah. You had a spitty kid. You could have used that saliva to your advantage, but I didn't want to throw too much at you at once. So I want you to just remember that. Use the saliva. But then I'm going to also say, don't make it too wet or it'll wash the, the glass ionomer out of there. You got to have between wet and dry. And you have to follow these steps, just like I said, and do these different things. Otherwise, every one of them just adds a little bit of failure to the thing, and then it's going to fall out. And then we're going to have hygienists all over the land telling us this doesn't work. And well, it does if you follow the proper steps. And I hope someday, Sarah, that we can do this in a class with a whole bunch of other dental hygienists and or assistants. And they can listen to the every single step and why we have those steps. And we can discuss the three different phases of how gla glass ionomer sets up. And we can discuss the final stage of maturation and see scanning electron microscope images of matured uh, glass ionomer in teeth that have been in there for like you know, the glass has been in there for like four or five years. I hope some year we can do that because what those images do is they create an image in your brain what you're achieving. It's so important to know that, to see these slides and to go through this because Sarah, this flies in the face of everything you learned in school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't it's teach the opposite. Them. It's the opposite of, of, of the sealants that you did with resin. Right. Right. So uh, one last thing, Sarah, this is really important. We didn't do this today, but I want you to do it every time. I want you to apply glass ionomer to the, the glass ionomer that you're going to have left because you're going to have some left in your gun right here. It's in your gun. I want you to automatically just go to the back teeth that don't have any glass ionomer all the way around, left, right, up, down, smear, 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 done. Now you just smeared a whole bunch of sealants on her baby teeth, on her permanent teeth, all the way around, and you didn't waste that what was left in that capsule. Now you've applied essential medicine to all of her teeth, and that will help to prevent decay in her mouth for a long, long time. And you can redo it just like that in your living room. I, I don't know why more dentists don't do this. Ah, can you take a picture? We want to take a few more pictures post all of this. Yeah. You're doing awesome. You didn't hear that, did you? I didn't hear it. Go ahead. No, it was my passcode to my phone. I didn't hear it. <laughs> My kids can't know it. Let's show, let's show them. I don't think she wants him to tell me. Okay, open real big, sweet girl. Let's tip up. And we got to show them this picture. Okay. Oh, that looks so nice. Uh, okay. Okay, now I'm wondering if we want to do... Yeah. Let's show them these bottom ones. Oh. Her lowers S and T have small little one in her proximal. Should I do it? She oh. does trap some food. Absolutely. It can do no harm. I'm going to do one more. There and this, since I'll have that excess in the 
Um, carpio, I'm going to smear it like you said. Yeah. Then the excess in the carpio. So, so mom, I, I want to say something to mom, Sarah, that yeah. you should be saying to all your patients too. So mom, what you're going to see over time, maybe within the next couple of days and definitely within the next couple of weeks, mm -hmm. when you looked at it right now, you said, oh, that looks really good. And it does. It looks nice and white, like a white tooth colored filling. What you're going to see in a couple of days to a couple of weeks, mom, is a black halo around the white. Okay. And that's normal. You need to know a few things about that black halo. Okay. That black halo is good because it tells you and me and Sarah and Dr. Duffin that we have silver ions underneath the glass ionomer yeah. that are continuing to arrest decay. Okay. So we like to think of that black halo as the zombies. Okay. So we wanna see those zombies. It's a good thing. And if another dentist or a hygienist somewhere else in your life or in her life says to you, well, there's decay under there. I want you to say to them, no, there isn't. Those are silver ions. She has zombies in her teeth. Don't <laughs> touch it. Because okay. dentists are going to look at that and want to take it out. And we do not want it taken out because it is constantly working. It takes, actually, it takes about three months before it absolutely matures. And we don't want to touch it even <laughs> after that three months because it's still healing from the inside out. Okay. So that's what we tell parents, okay. Sarah, okay? Okay. That's good to know. Very important to let them know this. And Teresa goes to, their family sees the dentist that I used to work with for years. Uh-huh. And the, and open open sweetie. They are seeing her for her preventives every six months, and they know what we're doing on this case, and that we're kind of doing a case study. So they're they're staying away. Good. Good. They're letting us do what we want to do. Remember, remember, please, when she goes to them, when she goes back at dentist, to remind them that if any part of this chips off and they have another food trap, we can apply it in your house. Uh, the same way you've done here without needles and without drills. Yeah, that's great. I found that one of the most important things that happened in Idaho is every patient that they brought in on my second day on the hands-on with the patients got in the chair with apprehension. Yeah. There was a frown on the face. There was a general attitude of, well, I guess I'm in the dental chair. And they, I asked them to allow me uh, to uh, speak to their patient first. So they walked in and said hello, greeted their patient. And you could see the apprehension. I was yeah. in the background and they said, we'd like to introduce you to Dr. Fraschella. He's an expert on this. And I walked in and the first thing I said to the patient was, hi, you know what? We're going to treat your teeth today, today with no needles and no drills. Uh -huh. Every single patient, it was visible on their face, in their body language. They relaxed and went, really? <laughs> and we all said, yeah, really. And they said, well, then in that case, you can do anything you want. Because <laughs> they were getting ready to say, well, I don't want you to do this. And I don't want you that. But when we said no needles, no drills, and this was the young ones, the old ones, the cancer patients, the xerostomics, all of them, men, women, every single person, it was the same. And I greeted every one of them with that first statement. By the way, today, we're not going to use any ah. or drills. All right, let's just think I think you saw it. Just take it out. Okay, turn this way, sweetie. Mm -hmm. There we go on this one. 
So this time, Sarah, use her saliva to smear. Yes. That's what I say. Ah ha ha and ha. Oh. Mm. Saliva is glass animer's best friend. Mm. Uh -huh. Then have her bite down. Then remove the excess with your fingers or whatever instrument, dull instrument. You won't stick teeth together. The saliva prevents that. I've never stuck teeth together. Does Some people say, oh, you got to put Vaseline on there. Does she bite down with the mylar strip in? No. <laughs> Just put some saliva on that tooth. Get some saliva over it, over the surface. Have her bite down. Then have her open. Yeah. Bite down and grind. Bite down, sweetie. Good. Now look at it. See the excess? Get it out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So these... Get it yeah. out of the way. Move it out of the way. And then quit manipulating. <laughs> these teeth are probably also kind of joined together now because of course. they weren't, they weren't of course. broken through enough to really. So then you just need to make sure the mom understands she's not meant to floss there. Okay. Yeah, that teeth are okay. going to be harder. You don't need to floss there. There's no reason to floss there. No food will get in. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Keep fighting there. Oh, Miss Sarah got a little bit of silver. <laughs> it wouldn't be a, a full treatment with Kahalia and I if we didn't turn you black. So yeah, we had a patient call in Idaho. Oh, what are we going to do? So I taught him the uh, Marcus Duffin salt trick. <laughs> so Marcus and Steve spilled some SDF on their countertop in their office. And Marcus had the brilliant idea that the ions of, um, of sodium and chloride in salt would uh, um, would join up with the uh, silver and fluoride positive and negative ions in the SDF and lift it off the table, and they did. But don't expect that expect salt to do that on white clothing because it penetrates. It will on skin, and it will on a on a surface of formica. So we had this mom use her cell phone and apply this slurry of salt on the kid's cheek. And we watched it disappear. And the dentists were, whoa, magic, salt, table salt. Everybody's going. So, so other <laughs> dentists don't like that. Jeanette McLean, our colleague, she likes to use, you know, fancy chemicals that you can buy at the store. And I don't like chemicals. And most people don't. And let's not use chemicals. Let's just use salt. Because guess what? We all have it. There we go. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? So she you can thank Marcus Duffin for that. Uh, He's a yeah. microbiologist. He understands ions. He thinks like an atom. Right. <laughs> so we have, um, how long does she stay here? Are we good? Boy, she's a great patient. Can I take one more picture of your teeth? Lay them back for me. <laughs> Let's take your glasses off because this we got to see those beautiful comments. <laughs> oh. Okay, and I can take it with me. Okay, let's see here. You want to open? Oh, let me get the suction. Get all that icky out. So, Sarah, try taking a picture with your headlamp and then without your headlamp. Interproximal on the teeth in front of it. Is that an issue? Say it again. I didn't hear the question. What is it, Steve? So some of the interproximal open speeding? Like I got a little glass ionomer like down here by the gum line. Don't worry about it. You know, flick it, flick it off if you can. Okay. Okay, now the final thing you do when she leaves is paint everything with fluoride varnish. Okay. Now he okay. wants one without my lunch. Okay. Mama's gonna take another okay. seat. Open it. What kind of fluoride varnish are you using? Um, uh, elevates advantage. Good. Okay, now let me teach you something before you before you uh, before you get get the varnish out. Get do you have the varnish handy? Yeah. Good. So I want you to grab the varnish and show it to me. Take the top off it and just 
bring it up to the camera. One second. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Take the varnish. Okay. Now I want you to take the varnish. Watch my fingers. Okay. And okay. I want you to apply it to your glove right here. See this okay. part of my hand? See mm -hmm. where I'm pointing? Yep. Can you see that? Yes. I want you to put two drops of that varnish right there. Okay. Okay, turn your camera back on. I can't see your camera. I want to watch you doing this. I want to see you put that varnish on your glove. Focus your camera onto your glove, please. Thank you. Two drops. Okay, that's on your left glove. I want you to take your right index finger and dip it into that well that you just created on your glove. No, no, no. Index finger. I know. There. Get it all saturated, okay? Now, without drying your teeth or anything, I want you to do this. Watch. Okay. All on the upper. Do okay. it. Just okay. on the buckles. From the back to the front. All the way. All the way. Okay. Put two more drops on your on your glove. Put two more drops on your glove. I got to listen to this. Dip your guy. finger. He's going to yell at me from another state. <laughs> do, the, do the lowers. Okay. Okay. On totally wet teeth. Don't dry the teeth. Totally wet teeth. Do the Why lowers. Do the lowers. Why is it wet teeth? Okay. Now, quit using those silly brushes because all they do is clog up landfills. Eliminate as much plastic as you possibly can. Be good to the earth. If you aren't good to the earth, there won't be an earth left for these kids. Okay. Use my finger. Use the instruments that are on the end of your wrist that you carry with you all the time. Those are the best instruments we have. They're right here. There's five on each wrist. You got 10 fingers, they're with you. You didn't forget them. They're here. Do you, do you think this guy has more energy than Dr. Steve? Yeah, wow. Okay, now, does this, does, can she see me? Can, can the patient see me? Okay, I want to talk to you, honey. I want to tell you something. You are the very best patient that I never treated. <laughs> Thank you for being so good. You're, you you're know there, John. <laughs> He's saying because Miss Sarah treated you and he wasn't here. What did we yeah. say, though? You said, oh, well, you're welcome. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. you <laughs> Yeah. Congratulations, everybody. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. Thank you. And I hope we can do that. I hope we can do this in a course with other um, hygienists sometime. Um, because I think all these little points are really important for, for you guys to be successful and to yes. understand. And so there's a lot of unlearning, as you're seeing, and there's a lot of elimination. We always get more with less. So we try to eliminate all these little things that aren't really necessary and get the job done so that we can heal better. And, uh, you know, so anyway, if we get a chance to do that sometime together, Sarah, I'd love it. It'd be wonderful. Okay. And also, John, realize we recorded this. Oh, yes. good. The yeah. event was recorded. We'll use that and we'll move toward in-person training. Absolutely. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Thank you both. I'm going to say bye to mom and Kahalia. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye now. Nice meeting you guys. Everybody. Take care. You. See ya. Bye-bye, Steve. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, that was wow. a wake up high.